हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन डिप्लॉय योर नोड जे एस एप्लीकेशन ऑन गूगल फायर बेज फंक्शंस इन ऑर्डर टू गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट यू नीड टू हैव अ एक्टिव गूगल अकाउंट असोशिएट दैट गूगल अकाउंट विथ क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म जी सी पी गूगल क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म ऑल्सो असोसिएट द सेम अकाउंट विथ फायर बेज क्रिएट अ न्यू फायर बेज प्रोजेक्ट लाइक आई हैव क्रिएटेड एंड मेक श्योर टू हैव अ ब्लेज प्लान अ ब्लेज प्लान इज अ बिलिंग प्लान फर्स्ट डोंट वरी इट विल नॉट गोइंग टू चार्ज यू एनीथिंग बट इट्स pay as you go plan and in order to use firebase functions you must have blaze plan active on your project so make sure to activate the blaze plan on your firebase project once these things are done you can visit this get started page on firebase functions and if you scroll down it says first you need to install the client firebase client so let's go to my terminal and let me install it and i need to use sudo privilege okay this is installed then the next step is to use firebase login it says i'm already logged in as raj4ugmail.com make sure to use the same email which is associated with the firebase project once you logged in you can start building the firebase function and the command is firebase init functions this will initialize a function inside a particular directory so make sure uh, to use the same directory where you want to create the firebase function so let me myself first check okay I'm, i want to create firebase function into project code so let's say fire firebase in it functions it will initialize a function i'll use existing project you can create a new project as well so i'll use existing project i'll select my project i'll choose javascript it will ask to enable eslint but i'll don't use i don't prefer it it will ask to install all the dependencies i'll say yes let me clear the screen and i'll open the folder into visual studio code as you can see it has created all the requirement all the require files to get started so our code will lie here in the index.js file before that let me install express now to make a server when you install packages you need to install it into functions folder so i will navigate into functions and then npm install express and i'll provide the flag save okay express is installed i'll cd dot dot clear the screen now let me just copy paste a sample code for node js server I'll paste this here 
okay now I don't require this dot env so here I create express web app and I provide some settings for URL encoding and uh, using JSON I know uh, we don't need this port because it automatically provides a port to our application I'll uncomment this okay I'll uncomment this and let me delete this as well now it says export hello world but we don't have a hello world function so what I'll use that we will use our web app and whenever it it requests I'll call my web app okay in this way it will redirect all the request on the web app so let's taste this firebase serve and if you hit enter it says web app oh we got an error it says web app is not defined let me correct that and save that so it says that functions initialized at this location if I click on that it will open the sorry for this let me copy this and paste it here so you can see that it worked and it has served our request uh, just one more information if you in case want to use ngrock to get a public URL for testing purpose what you can do let me show you so this is my ngrock URL so what you need to do is you just need to replace your local host with ngrock URL and when you hit enter it will work as well now once you are satisfied with your firebase function you need to use a command firebase deploy and when you hit enter it will deploy the project on firebase okay so it is now deployed and if you see this is the URL on which you can use that let me just copy that URL and let's test it on a browser so I'll paste that and you see we got hello world response now you can do the things that you want to accomplish with this function here and then just export the web app and it will work now if you go to the function section you can see that our web app function is deployed and this is the URL of that web app so I hope you have gained some knowledge from this video and you can use firebase functions as uh, your api endpoint thank you for watching see you in the next video peace